in terms of wrapping up our year, looking at Google Classroom's folder in our Google Drive, there are some things we can do to organize. I like to organize it by keeping my folders that are created every time I join a class organized into three different subfolders. So I have a folder called as a student, so any classrooms where I'm in as a student. For you, that would be the CMS class. Um, anywhere I'm a teacher. And then I also have department classrooms, so those go in there. Within any of those folders, I have the folders that are created. And I've had to move them at the beginning of the year whenever I join a classroom into one of those three folders. In each one of those three folders, I have a folder called Archive. And this is how I like to organize each year. At the end of the year, I'll go into my Archive folder, and I'll create a folder for that school year. So I'm going to make a folder, and I'm going to name it 2017-2018. And then what I will do is I'll go back and look at all the different classes I have, and I will organize them into that archive now. So for instance, I no longer am going to need to be in a couple of these different classes. So I'm going to start to move them into different locations. Now a couple of them I'm going to keep because those are classes that are still continued to use year to year. So, to select all of those, I click on one, I hold down the control key, and I'm able to do a multi-select of a bunch of them so that I can drag them away. And then I can either drag them into the folder on the left-hand side. I could click the three dots and do move to. I could do a right click on one of those folders and do move to. There's multiple different options. So let me archive those. And then a couple of the ones that I keep from year to year, you may as well, are CMS Classroom. That's one you're definitely going to want to not archive. Uh, if you are part of the middle school instructional technology classroom that Stacy and I were using at CMS and Grover this year, we're going to continue to use that next year, so you might want to keep that one uh, out of the archive. Uh, and this is just a nice way to kind of clean up your Google Drive classroom folder so that you can stay organized from year to year.